Hey, man, Josh, you still comics? Uh, some Daredevil news this week, but first... YouSellComics.com, your new multi-vendor marketplace. YouSellComics offers a site exclusively for buying and selling of all things comics. Slabs, Omnis, Trades, and more. Sell for as low as 5% commission or zero commission monthly tiers. Run your own auctions. Unlimited bin listings. YouSellComics.com. Buy. Collect. Sell. Okay, uh, Hollywood Reporter uh, had an article yesterday. Um, Daredevil hits reset button as Marvel overhauls its TV business. Launched during the pandemic with a playbook to shoot $150 million plus seasons with no pilots, the Disney unit is undergoing growing pains in seeing the logic of traditional TV culture. Uh, it didn't take long to see the problem after Marvel Studios Daredevil Born Again paused production in mid-June during the writer strike. Fewer than half of the series, 18 episodes, have been shot, but it was enough for Marvel executives, including Chief Kevin Feige, to review the footage and come away with a clear-eyed assessment. The show wasn't working. Uh, so in late September, Marvel quietly let go of head writers Chris Ord and Matt Corman and also released the directors for the remainder of the season as part of a significant creative reboot of the series. Hollywood Reporter has learned... The Hollywood Report has learned the studio is now on the hunt for new writers and directors for the project, which stars Charlie Cox as Matt Murdock, a blind lawyer turned superhero. Uh, the Daredevil revamp is the latest in a series of growing pains for Marvel Television since debuting the Emmy-winning *WandaVision* in January 2021. The studio, which dominated the film industry in the 2010s, has released more than 50 hours of TV programming after creating a small screen division from the ground up during the pandemic. Through it all, the company eschewed the traditional TV making model. It didn't commission pilots, but instead shot entire $150 million plus seasons of TV on the fly. It didn't hire showrunners, but instead depended on film executives to run its series. And as Marvel does for, and as Marvel does for its movies, it relied on post-production and reshoots to fix what wasn't working. Even though they remain along with Star Wars titles, the most watched shows on Disney Plus Marvel series have recently faced a number of creative challenges and cries of diminishing returns of critics audience metrics causing a major shift at the studio to move to make tv shows the more traditional way we're trying to marry the marvel culture with the traditional television culture said brad winderbaum marvel's head of streaming television and animation it comes down to how can we tell the stories in television that honor what's so great about the source material with daredevil's new direction marvel hopes to write the ship on a project with sky expectations the show is marvel's first to feature a hero who already had a successful series on Netflix running three seasons, but sources say that Corman and Ord crafted a legal procedural that did not resemble the Netflix version known for its action and violence. Cox didn't even show up in costume until the fourth episode. Ouch. Uh, Marvel, after greenlining the concept, found itself needing to rethink the original intention of the show. Marvel plans to keep some scenes and episodes through other serialized elements, though other serialized elements will be injected, the Corman and Ord becoming executive producers on two season series daredevil is far from the first marvel series to undergo drastic behind the scene changes those who work with marvel on the tv side have complained a lack of central vision that has according to sources begun to afflict the studio's show shows with creative differences and tensions tv is a writer driven medium what you can't use ai this 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 doesn't seem like it's gonna work uh on on the oscar isaac star moon knight show creator and writer jeremy slater quit and director moab diab Mohammed Diab took the reins. Jessica Gao developed and wrote She-Hulk, though sidelined once director Kat Koro came on board. Production was challenging with COVID hitting the cast. Gao was brought back to oversee post-production and typical showrunner duty, but it's rare that a Marvel head writer has such oversight. Um, and then it talks about how Secret Invasion sucked. Uh, so I actually don't mind the idea of a procedural Daredevil show, like. If it hasn't, if it, like, if it, like, he's a lawyer, so why wouldn't he be doing, trying cases while also being Daredevil at night? Uh, I don't mind him handling two things at once, like trying to get Kingpin and fighting for a client um, that would be separate. Uh, and how he balances that, that might be inter an interesting um, uh, dynamic. And whether he uses his um, Daredevil alter ego to help him win cases for clients could be interesting as well. Um, but yeah, maybe, maybe it's time for Kevin Feige to kind of step back and let someone else run the TV division and then they just collaborate together. But the TV division kind of has, whoever's the head of the TV division has 
more of a say for TV than Kevin does for TV. I don't know. Maybe like it should be a Favreau Filoni type deal with Star Wars for like Kathleen Kennedy does the movies. Favreau and Filoni oversee the television. They, if there's ever any more Star Wars movies ever again under Kathleen Kennedy, maybe they, you know, collaborate and talk about what to incorporate from the crossover. Like, okay, we did this in the TV show. So if you want to like continue that storyline here, we can help you out, blah, blah, blah. Or not to step on each other's toes when doing different projects of TV and movie. But I feel like Kevin, Kevin, it kind of sounds like Kevin doesn't trust any filmmaker to just do, to just make a good, a good product. Like he's got to be, he's got to be micromanaging. You're muted. Wow. Sorry. That's why they made him a robot in She-Hulk. So, yeah. Um, do you think? Do you think oh, it should be separate? Like, yeah, I they should the, be separate. I get the traditional. I don't love the tr- traditional thing of a. Well, I guess lately I've been. Not not entirely happy with shows that only do one season and they never give it a second season because of course. Like Phil, I don't know if the show's playing for three seasons. Commit to it film all three seasons and then be done with it so it's a contained sure. story yep don't go season by season i know that's a lot of money to commit but maybe it finds an audience if it's not a hit right away lots of things mm-hmm. find audiences afterwards like suits on netflix was like number one for i saw that for a couple of weeks because as soon as it hit netflix but it wasn't like a that show's been over for years mm-hmm. so you can you can shows can find life after airing or oh yeah i don't know what do you think um i would agree and at the same time i feel like kind of hit the nail on the head which was um showrunners they don't have i feel like they don't have proper showrunners um yeah i don't know it's uh it i think i saw i saw a report or something um i don't know if it was maybe linked to one of the articles that was in our list that we were talking about but um somebody said uh you know why did agents of shield work so well why was it on you know on the air for what was it seven seasons yeah. or something like that yeah and they like i think like the lead actor responded with because you know we were uh revolved around people who knew how to make television yeah like that's that's it like it wasn't hard <laughs> They got seasoned people yeah. who made TV to come and fucking make TV. And if you don't want to do that, then hire them as a, a you know, um, oh, my God, consulting as a consulting, you know, position or producer, not producer, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. Consulting associate or whatever. Mm-hmm. And fucking do the work. It's like, I just don't feel like no, like that's just something they don't want to do, which is just, you know, they write it. They think they kind of hone it down and then they start shooting and they're like, well, they'll throw a director to being a showrunner and doing both jobs or a writer. Yeah. Or what? Yeah, whatever. And it's like, you can't do that. Like there's a reason why, you know, Seinfeld was on for so long. It was the same showrunner for how long? Um, I think the same David and, and Seinfeld, but they both had, you know, different, you can't you can't have someone who create a show also run like there has to be a dynamic of pushback of is this a good idea like you can't have Absolutely. a writer be in charge of everything they can't be the director too and and have the final say uh no. there has unless to be, it's like a certain situation obviously there's and gotta I be can't someone remember. there's got to be a dissenting voice to make sure that what they're doing is good yeah and it shouldn't be the studio like it should like that's like it shouldn't be Feige. It should be someone else who correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get what you're saying. Correct. Yes. Um, so, uh, yeah. <sighs> how much do you think Tough. it would cost for them just to hire Craig Mazin to do just oversee Marvel Television? He's uh, it should be him. Be worth it. <laughs> be worth it is what I'd say. He so nailed the the Last of Us that he he should just do that. And Chernobyl. Was he on Chernobyl? Yeah, he was on Chernobyl yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Just so. Um, so while this article came out, uh, Vincent D'Onofrio, who is Kingpin, we all know oh, no. Kingpin. Um, what did he say? 
Uh, oh no! Earlier today, TNTR published a piece claiming Marvel Studios is planning a massive overhaul of upcoming Daredevil board again. According to the trade, Marvel execs re- reviewed some footage from the show while production was paused during the strikes and decided that a significant creative reboot was in order. Um, a Twitter follower, Twitter user, uh, tweeted at Vincent D'Onofrio um, when Vincent said he was so, excuse me, so excited to be back uh, in. Uh, so excited about Daredevil Born Again, incredible cast, crew, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah. A Twitter user replied uh, with, now this has aged poorly. Uh, Vince replied, unless you really know what's going on, there's a chance you could be wrong about this statement. We are going to bring forward the best series we can, one we can be proud of. Have some trust, my friend. Trust. And uh, went on to say, you're right, I don't. I'm just going off reports, personal feelings about this weird new era of television. Uh, Vincent replied, every cool project I've been involved, I've been involved with has evolved constantly during pre-production, production, and post. It's just reported on these days as if it's big news. It's not. It's a simple bunch of creatives doing their best to get it right. It's a constant business. It's a constant in this business, etc. Um, so there's a chance he's... Vince is downplaying things here, of course, but it'll be interesting to see if everyone else involved in bringing Bornick into screenways in. The show will be, or was going to be, loosely based on the 80s comic series of the same name by Frank Miller and Dave Masuchelli, but it's not expected to be an overly faithful adaptation, despite some significant changes to the story. Daredevil vs. Wilson Fisk remains the focal point. Born Again will be PG-13, but Mark Jobst, who helmed some key episodes of the Netflix show, simply doesn't believe Cox and Offrey and Bernthal would have agreed to return if they didn't think it was going to work. Uh, so I've got no idea what they're doing and how they're approaching Disney's mm-hmm. version of those worlds. Uh, I can't imagine that Charlie Vincent John would sign up for something that they felt was anodyne. They just wouldn't do it. So in some form or another, Disney must have persuaded them to say this journey is worth coming on. Um, so his the, the rest of that tweet was, uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. Frankly, I'd be worried if we were settling for less. Pretty big. Pretty big end there. Yeah, I I think uh, Vincent D'Onofrio is kind of a straight shooter. So yeah. Um, also, he's a scary guy. <laughs> yeah, he's very scary. Uh, not just a scary guy, but he's been in other roles. Where you're like, oh, I wouldn't want to fuck with that guy. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, we can sit here and and say we don't have faith in Marvel, but then sometimes they knock it out of the park. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm extremely happy that this is happening, and not only that that they said it out loud. Well, not that they said it out loud, but it was reported and they were like, yeah, we're, we're rehauling. And rightfully so. Like a 26 episode, well, it was probably not a 20, 18 episode season. One season we thought maybe separated into two. two yeah. Uh, with him, you know, mainly in this, in his lawyer suit. Uh, you know, that, not that, yeah, that that wouldn't work. It's got to be, it's got at it, least 50 50, if not 60 I would 40? say 60 40 yeah. is extremely acceptable, yeah. And you know, you just don't do p- like puss ass scenes of him in the suit, like, do you know, you do meaningful good scenes again? <laughs> you can do a walk of shame. But make it fucking, t- you know, five seconds. Don't make it a whole, you know what I mean? Well, it's a different, Unless you're going to have a really tone good. for that show. I, uh, it was, it was yeah, fun. it's going to be a different, yeah. but it's going to be a different tone for the show too, right? So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it'll be interesting mm. to see what happens. Uh, I'm hopeful. I don't know. Let us let us know what you guys think about Daredevil be uh, born again and whether you believe the reports. Obviously, Marvel always has reshoots built into everything they do. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we talked about another video how maybe this pause on the writers and actors has given them more time to nail things down yes. and make yes, things I hope better so. uh, that, we, huh? we will all be the better for <laughs> it um, did you watch the first episode of Loki? I did I love Key he's so good in it <laughs> Key he, did so good. Uh, he did so good yeah. um, I, I really enjoyed it I'm excited for the next episode. Um, I don't know if I've said that in a little while. Excited for, the next, excited for the next episode. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, that's, 
it's pretty good. It, it'll be interesting how they play out the series playing into the other um, movies, I guess, and in, in different IPs they plan to tie in. But I really, I really hope that this season of Loki pushes things forward a lot for the multiverse. Like it's kind not of not only been, that it's kind of been stagnating, but, right? Yeah, but not only that, but for him as well, like for Loki as well, right? Like he's kind of been stuck a little bit in yeah. this. You know, what, Whatever, you know so. what we noticed? Um, you know how everyone uh, there was a joke in one of the movies about Black Widow doing the the superhero the superhero pose when they yeah yeah Tom Hilton does the hair flip with Loki like every five minutes. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's almost the same thing as the, the superhero. It's so uh, funny. Yeah, dude. it's funny. Yeah, it's good. Uh, okay, so that was Daredevil: Born Again. Appreciate you checking us out. Go see youselfcomics dot com and. Maybe a live stream next week with uh, Steve from Cyberspace Comics. I'll have to ask him because uh, Josh will be in Vegas. Woo! Partying it up. What happens in Vegas? Usually Stays comes back. there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, thanks. I... What? Thanks. Are you going to say it? Oh, I was just going to say, I guess we could technically say that Daredevil Born Again was born again. Okay, bye.